Hey guys, it is currently 4.16 in the morning on December 22nd, and we're going to go ahead and talk about December 15th through the 21st. Um, so December 15th, uh, 272 words in TE, -E, 256 in TFL, 188 in PRV, 164 in, uh, I just have Jensen's written down here, but I believe that's titled The Abduction of the Jensen's. Um, when I jot down my notes, I very rarely write out the whole book title. Um, started the rewrite of The Kidnapping of Eve Lincoln, which is the rewrite edit, sorry. Uh, wrote 1,986 words there. Wrote 160 in Beatings from a Butcher. And then 4,068 words in Law Arguments Research. Um, I have a legal book or a legal series that I eventually want to write. So that's where the legal terms research and the arguments research and all that stuff is coming in. Um, and that was 7,094 words total. December 16th, I wrote 504 in Photographs and Memories, 542 in Books and Badges. Uh, edited, I think, two October Work in Progress videos. That's what I have written down, but sometimes I write that stuff down at the end of the day, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 550 words in Graham, 568 in Voice of the Wild Places Z, 552 in Pittman's Legend Valiant Fighter, 598 in King of Darkness, 372 in The ABC Killer, 150 in Thundering Hooves. Um, I started the JTS rewrite edit, and that was 2,940 words, 284 in TE, 200 in TFL, 224 in PRV, 46 in um, Abduction of the Jensen's, 686 in the Eve Lincoln rewrite, and that brought my total for December 16th to 8,216 words. Um, you'll probably start noticing around this point that progress in the Jensen's drastically slows down, which is the main reason that I started the Eve Lincoln rewrite edit, um, because the very little amount of words that I'm managing in the Jensen's is stressing me out since, uh, the goal is to finish that series and start publishing it next year. Um, so there's that. Um, December 17th, 1,130 words in Law Arguments Research, 1,548 in the Eve Lincoln Rewrite Edit, 182 in Beatings from a Butcher, 110 in Photographs and Memories, 374 in Books and Badges, 200 in Graham, 300 in Z, 152 in Pittman's Legend Valiant Fighter, 290 in King of Darkness, 52 in the ABC Killer, 126 in Thundering Hooves, and 1,958 in the JTS Rewrite Edit, which brought my total for December 17th to 6,422 words. December 18th, I wrote 3,950 words in the JTS Rewrite Edit, which, if I worked on it every day, was much closer to what I would need daily uh, to complete that book again before the end of the month, because that's that was the goal. I'm not 100% sure if that still is the goal, um, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, 126 in TE, 156 in TFL, 154 in PRV, 120 in The Abduction of the Jensen's, 1,848 uh, in the Eve Lincoln rewrite. Oh god, don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> um, 208 in Beatings from a Butcher, 72 in Photographs and Memories, 208 in Books and Badges, and that brought my total for December 18th to 6,842 words. December 19th, 1,500 words in Books and Badges. That one went really well that morning, which was surprising, um, just given everything. <laughs> um, 106 in Graham, 372 in Z. I spent a long time finally adding end cards to my videos on YouTube, all the way back to Nano Day 4, I think, um, which meant every single video that I had uploaded from December or November 4th all the way up to now, I finally went through and added end cards because I can no longer do that on my tablet and I upload most of my videos from my phone when I'm not on the desktop. Um, so I had to go do that. Um, 130 words in Pittman's Legend Valiant Fighter, 162 in King of Darkness, 230 in the ABC Killer, 106 in Thundering Hooves, 4,070 words in the JTS Rewrite Edit, and that brought my total for December 19th to 6,676 words. Uh, December 20th, I was in a lot of pain. I had a lot of joint swelling in my knees and my knuckles especially, um, and a lot of problems that are still acting up in my back and my hips, primarily from when my left knee was um, dicked up 
it was messing with the way that I was walking so my back and my uh, hips hurt a lot again and I'm just having a lot of pain in general, uh, a flare-up. And I also had a lot of anxiety-related issues due to doctor-related things. Um, finally got my specialist appointment made uh, with a rheumatologist, and it's not with the doctor that I was recommended to. It is a completely different doctor, one who, although has been a specialist there for three years, um, has absolutely no reviews anywhere, and she is a female doctor, and... I've had anxiety related to female doctors ever since the one that I had in 2018 uh, who told me that my pain wasn't real because I could feel it when she poked my face. Um, because for some reason that means that you have no pain and your problems don't exist. Uh, and when I went to that doctor I fought for my pain and my reality. Um, for about 45 minutes before she finally gave me a week of steroids to shut me up and make me leave her office and that week in 2018 in January uh, is the last time I was pain-free and since then I've had very deep-seated anxiety panic attacks um, related to hospitals doctors offices and female medical health care professionals uh, no matter what even though my current female doctor actually gives a shit about what's going on uh, it's not something that I can control. So the fact that I have now been scheduled with an appointment next April um, with a female doctor that I know nothing about and can't find anything about is a little disconcerting. Um, but I'm doing my best not to stress about it until April, um, as in from now up all the way through April because that's insane. Um, but it's definitely been eating away at me since the 20th because uh, that's when I found out. But I edited two work in progress videos, wrote 302 words in TE about, uh, I, I streamed Days Gone for like a little over an hour, I don't remember how long, because it was a Friday or a Saturday, I don't know, that was a Friday. Um, 188 words in TFL, 102 in PRV, 128 in Abduction of the Jensen's, and after that I went to sleep, and then when I woke up, that's when I found out about the doctor's office thing, because they sent me a letter in the mail instead of calling me back like they were supposed to, um, so that way I would have a say in what the hell was going to happen. Uh, and after that I didn't write any other words after waking up, because I just couldn't. And that was 720 words total. December 21st still in a lot of pain, still very cold, very stiff, swelling in my joints. Um, but I wrote 250 words for a Man of Darkness video script and then edited that video. 1,937 1, words in the Eve Lincoln rewrite edit, 100 in Beatings from a Butcher, and that brought my total for December 21st to 2,117 words. Falling behind there due to the joint pain and the anxiety didn't really help. Um, but we'll see how things go. I still have my goal set for 178,000 or whatever, and we'll see how close I get. There's, I might still change it, I don't know, depends on how things go. Um, my word count doesn't stress me out, um, much at all. It's a personal goal, um, but I'm notorious for moving my personal goals consistently, except for the dates that I publish my books on this year. That's the only goal that I don't, like, shift. Um, so if I don't meet it, it's not a huge deal. I'm still willing to change it, but I'd still like to see how close I can get, if it's possible, so on and so forth. Um, so the game plan this week, which is the 22nd up through the 28th, um, I'm going to spend the majority of this week working on things that are less stressful for me. I have two clients that I'm currently editing books for. One of them is the full book, and with that, um, it's a science fiction novel, uh, and if you would like to find out anything more about that. I have talked about um, Gent before. I have edited zombie books for her before. Uh, and if you would like to see any of her stuff on Instagram where she mostly posts about that, I'll link her Instagram at the very, very top of the description down below. She'll be much better at explaining her book than I ever could. Um, so I'm not going to explain it much more than, much more than that. 
Um, but I edited two chapters of that so far today, the 22nd. Um, and the goal is to continue editing that <clears throat> this next week, the 22nd through the 28th. Um, I'm going to be primarily focusing on her book as well as the book written by another client that I'm working with. I do not have her full book in my possession right now. I only have chapters one through three. Um, so I'm going to finish editing those and then we'll see if she wants to send me more from there or not and we'll go from there. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to primarily focus on those two because they're not my things and they tend to take priority uh, when it comes to editing for clients. Um, and I'm also going to be working primarily on the Eve Lincoln rewrite, the JTS rewrite edit, uh, both of those are rewrite edits, and then maybe untitled mystery scenes, anything that are just random scenes that have no contention in any of my books, um, and research. All of those things are relatively stress-free for me in comparison. Um, Working on Carver Baxter currently stresses me the hell out because Jensen's is nowhere, it's not going anywhere fast at all. Um, progress with Bo, both of his books, has slowed down drastically. Um, I keep fearing that Bo's depression is too much in the current book um, because people don't like reading about a main character, generally, that doesn't just magically get better when they have depression or anxiety or PTSD or anything like that. So it does concern me that this many books into both series, he has depression still, um, which in real life is 100%, you know, generally the way that it goes. But that doesn't stop me from worrying about it as I'm working on it. Because now when Bo's telling him story, his story, I'm like, isn't this too much? Um, and it's just because I'm already stressed out and anxious about the doctor's things, so I'm also taking it out on my own books. When they are not my books that I'm currently writing, nothing is taken out on them. So when I'm working on Eve's for Gent, I'm just reading and editing and it's very stress-free. I'm just doing my job. Um, same with when I'm working on the other book for my other client. It's pretty stress-free. It's my job. Um, and despite what other people, <laughs> despite what other, a lot of other people say, I love editing. Um, it doesn't really stress me out that much. If I'm on a super bad time crunch for my own stuff, it stresses me out a little bit. Um, but not in these cases. I have no problem with any of this. Um, the JTS rewrite edit doesn't stress me out. I'm just fixing words. And rewriting Eve Lincoln has just made me love Ken and Alex even more. Um, even though Jensen's isn't going well right now. But my main goal is going to be working on things that don't stress me out a lot, as well as still devoting little sections of time to my other books that are ongoing, because I don't want to leave any of them in the dust. Every time I do that, I tend to have to abandon the product project and come back later with a rewrite and a revamp, and I don't want to do that with any of my current books. Um, so I'm going to still be working on those, but I don't plan to dedicate nearly as much time to them as I have recently. So like if it's not going well in the first five minutes, I'm not going to continue to sink time into it. But when it comes to JTS, Eve Lincoln, um, Eve's, the other book that I'm editing, Untitled Mysteries, Research, any of that, I can sink as much time into those as I want to and it won't stress me out generally unless I'm having a super bad day. And right now that's what I need. So that's the game plan. And on the 29th, you'll get an update for that week. So, all right. We'll see how things are going from there. But it's all that I have for this video. Although it got a little more rambly than I was expecting it to. But I haven't talked about, you know, book stuff for a while. I generally just kind of keep everything in and keep it to myself and whatnot. But these last few days have been very, very hard <laughs> in a lot of factors. Um... But that's all I've got for this video. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the gaming videos I upload roughly for Friday, or anything that I do on the channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages and my uh, social media are in the description down below, as well as the link to uh, Jent's Instagram page, all down there. Hers will be at the very, very top of this description. Um, but that's all I have. 
So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.